I hereby announce my leave from Red Bull Racing by the end of the 2021 F1 season. With Martin set to leave Red Bull and Max Verstappen having left Red Bull before the 2021 season, the question is now, who is going to be the second Red Bull driver for the 2022 season? Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to F1, my story uh, for race three here in F1 2021. And the news is true. I will be leaving Red Bull Racing at the end of the 2021 season. I have yet to decide what team I will I will be joining for next year. But I can tell you guys right now, I will be pushing for this championship this year. So, without further ado, let's head into qualifying here at the Baku City Circuit. Here we go, here in Baku, it's five little red lights, and it's lights out, and away we go. Perez gets the jump into turn one. Sergio Perez leads the Grand Prix. Immediately, me and Sergio are uh, pulling away from the uh, two Mercedes drivers. Up four again, Jesus.
down the main straight. Seems kind of clear that we are faster than Sergio. However, he has just enough speed coming out of the corners to uh, have a good launch and pull away from us. However, we continuously keep on inching closer and closer to our Mexican teammate. Through the castle section we go, don't do a Leclerc. So Sergio seems to be faster than us in the second sector. However, everywhere else we seem to be the quicker car. I think what we're going to do is we're going to wait for DRS and then swap the cars around. That is, unless we go ahead and make a move right now because we have the run. Uh, Sergio's not going to give it to us. Just back out of it. We'll have DRS down this straight. Not much you can do to defend. However, he does stick there quite nicely. However, in the end, we do take the lead of the race away. Immediately showing why we are the lead driver. Car is actually starting to lose some grip. Rear tires are shot. I don't like being side by side with Sergio through there. Uh, so we're just going to try again. You know what? I'm just going to let him take it. So we've got Lewis Hamilton on us now. <coughs> And we've dumped it. Tires were just getting so bad. 
Well, now Sergio leads the Grand Prix once again. We are down in P7. Dang it, man. No one is hitting, so I think we're going to gamble it. This tire wear is just really frustrating at the moment. Move down to uh, P20. However, oh, hate the uh, exit at this circuit. It just forces you to slam on the brakes. What the hell? However, I do believe once the others start making their pit stops, we'll be able to start making up some places. Also, we have the freshest tires on the, uh, grid, so, out of everyone, so, I think we're good. Come out right behind Hamilton, who has DRS on Nicholas Latifi. We're just going to dive bomb them both and hit Nick. Yeah. And safety car. This is going to actually help us, but it's also going to help the guy, the, uh, it's also going to help the, uh, drivers who did not hit yet, because now they have a free pit stop. If they take it. Okay, slow down, slow down. Your delta is negative, which means you are too fast. Reduce your pace. And I can confirm that they are pitting because this is right in their pit window, so. I'm sorry for the annoying noise. Here we go. Push, 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 push. Push to get as past as many as we possibly can. And that's it. We're going to be behind science. There is a few that have not pitted. And, okay. Well, 
We were told to pass signs, but then they took the order away and told me to stay behind signs. What is Carlos doing? Antonio Giovinazzi, George Russell, and Ocon have not pitted yet. And neither has Latifi. The same guy who we spun around to uh, cause the uh, safety car. So, once everything has cycled, <coughs> Sergio will be the race leader. I am eager to get going again. Well, this has just screwed over uh, Lewis Hamilton out of a uh, possible top five finish. Wonder when the uh, safety car will end. Going on this lap. I mean, the field's bunched again, so. I feel like they should let us. Uh, get going again. Do a little Max Verstappen, get alongside uh, Science. I was told to overtake Science. Going back too much. And honestly, I'm going to be honest with you guys, that was my goal. That was my goal. When I go alongside these guys, the uh, AI, it's because I'm trying to get them to fall back from the safety car queue. That way I can, uh, <laughs> I can overtake them. Hi, Orlando. I have now spent 50 hours of track time on this game. Botas is trying to back me up. I don't like that, Val. You know what my pace is like. This is why you're doing it. Valtteri, just let Lando 
take a free position. So everyone in front of Sergio has not pitted. So Sergio does not need to make any overtakes, and neither do I, but I wanna I wanna win. And Sergio's making overtakes, trying to put cars between us, so even though everyone all these car all three of these cars in front of us they're going to pit probably this lap which is unfortunate for El Plan Fernando Alonso leading the Grand Prix Here goes Perez on the Williams of George Russell now. However, Perez is going to get held up with Russell going into the pits. Oh my goodness, as we lock the tires up. I'm making fun of my teammates so much. Oh, hey, Vettel's in P3 now. Nice. I like that. I like that very much. Please let it stay that way for the next four laps. It's very hard to overtake here, except for on the main straight. However, there is no DRS active quite yet. Let's see if we can't. Catch Perez. Almost lost. Uh, almost lost all chances to get Perez again after that lockup. Yeesh. What the? I I can't get it moving. It it it's stuck. Oh, thank God, Russell. Thank you. Okay, this is going to be a short safety car, so. There's only three laps left. Short safety car. Short safety car. Very short safety car. I guess it'll only be open one lap. Oh, there it is. I got hit by Russell, and that's what unstuck me. So, thank you, George. For getting me unstuck. It's fine, Jeff. To lean mixture for safety car.
Okay, I don't know what Russell was doing there, but he's just giving me a free position. I think everyone is trying to race to get to the safety car at the moment. No one wants to be left behind from the safety car. Okay, um, the game continuously tells me that drivers are falling too far back from the safety car. Q. So they keep on telling me to pass cars. Now it's telling me to pass Alonzo. My god. Now it's telling me to stay behind Alonzo, pass Alonzo, stay behind Alonzo, pass Alonzo. Ugh. You know what? It's telling me to pass him right now. I'm passing him. There is no way we end under safety card. This is going to be a one lap shootout. It's telling me to pass so many cards. Pass Stroll. Pass Ricardo. Ricardo is right here though. Pass Schumacher. Why is it telling me to pretty much overtake everyone? I mean, that's what it's doing. Like, that is actually what it's doing. I will... Okay. Okay. Pass Norris. What the hell? Yeah, la one lap shootout. what I tell ya? I never had this happen, ever, where it was actually a one-lap shootout. I've had two-lap shootouts, never one. Vettel's still P3. Hopefully it stays that way. Time to chase down my teammate. Ooh, almost lost it there. You would never think only a few laps ago that I would be in for a chance of still winning this race. Well, think again, because here I am. Within a second of Perez. There will be no DRS. So I have to use ERS. The uh, overtake button. My best bet is using it down that front straight. But that means I'll have a uh, fairly close finish between me and Sergio. Here we go. Down the main straight for the final time. Side by side, here we go. Checkered flag. We're going to inch him out. Let's go. And Sebastian Vettel is the driver of the day as he will finish on podium.
and what a finish between the two Red Bull drivers. Come on! Yes! Oh man. Well done to Seb. That is awesome to see him on the podium. Just like in real life, however, he was on the second step in real life. But still. Holy crap, what a finish. So we take over the championship lead in the driver's championship by four points ahead of our teammate Sergio Perez. And with that podium finish, Sebastian Vettel, the four-time champion, moves up to P8 in the championship, only five points behind Lewis Hamilton and ten points behind. Uh, P6 of Lando Norris and in the constructors uh, thanks to Sebastian's podium Aston Martin move up to P5 in the constructors only 12 points behind P4 and McLaren uh, the finish between me and Seb what uh, sorry not Seb Sergio was 0 0.008 not the closest finish but still a close finish and it these close finishes always seem to happen here or Abu Dhabi or Bahrain I don't understand it but okay uh, well guys that's it we've won our second race of the season and for the first time this season, we lead the driver's standings. This just in, following the uh, very, very controversial and outstanding announcement from Luke Martin just two days ago of him leaving Red Bull Racing at the end of the 2021 season, now we have news that Mercedes driver Lewis Hamilton will be calling it quits on his F1 career at the end of this of the 2021 season leaving a open seat at Mercedes